can you guess what my favorite holiday is? Uh, Christmas? No, it's Halloween, and it's time for some spooktacular cocktails. Well, let's get making them. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and I'm the Whiskey Nerd. I'm Rose and I'm the Spooktacular Whiskey New. And in case you haven't figured it out, it is spooky season, so we're going to be making some spooky Halloween themed cocktails. And particularly, we'll be making some pumpkin cocktails. So, this recipe comes from my friend Jessica over at the Savage Kitchen. I'll put a link to her video below, but this is a maple syrup pumpkin spice syrup. It is very nice. You basically take some maple syrup some water, a bit of ground of pumpkin, yeah. some pumpkin spices, and you simmer it nice and low for a while until it thickens up and you get a really, really good uh, syrup. It's really, really tasty in cocktails. It is absolutely delicious. Yeah, so we'll be making a pumpkin old fashioned, oh. we'll be making a pumpkin whiskey sour, oh. and a pumpkin fizz. So these are kind oh. of three different types of cocktails. Yes. One's kind of simple, one has a little bit of flair, and one has just that ease of use. You can just make a few of these quickly for your friends. They're all gonna be using whiskey. We'll be using Rowan Co's whiskey. It is just a very good whiskey. It's my favorite whiskey for making cocktails. Oh yeah. It's a blended whiskey, it's sweet, it has, it comes in at 45% ABV, so it does carry a bit of weight. So even when you put it into a cocktail, you'll still be able to taste that whiskey, but really the star of the show is this pumpkin syrup. <gasps> and it's so good guys, like, it's not easy to get pumpkins over here, let alone canned pumpkin. So I had to give him some of my secret stock yeah. to make this syrup. But trust me, it was worth it. Yeah. So I think it's time to make the first cocktail. So we're gonna start off with the pumpkin old fashioned and this is a mixed drink, a stirred drink. So we're gonna get our mixing glass and we're gonna get ice. a nice rock of ice. We're gonna pop that in there. We're gonna start off with our whiskey. We're gonna go in with two ounces or 60 ml of our Rome Co whiskey into there, nice and straightforward. Like I said, this is a very simple cocktail, but it does deliver a whole lot of flavor because it's a nice- And fear. And fear, because it's a nice twist on that classic old fashioned. So this is a nice rich, very sweet, oh. very spiced <laughs> syrup. So we're not gonna go in with too much. We're only gonna go in with about 10 ml of it because it will have a lot of flavor going into the cocktail. And as I said, the Ronco is already sweet enough as it is. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add to that one dash of Angostura bitters. I hope no one's, there's no bitter ghosts around. No, hopefully not. And then one dash of orange bitters, oh. just to keep it a nice bit of roundness and keep it from being just like too one dimensional. And orange for the season. I'm the season. So we're gonna stir this down for about 20, maybe 25 seconds until it's nice and chilled. Okay, I think this should be nicely chilled now. So we're gonna get ready to strain it out. We're gonna be straining this into a nice rocks glass and we're gonna be putting it on top of a nice rock of ice. So just like that. And you can see it has this lovely rich flavor. It has a nice bit of spice coming through as well. Yeah. Oh, it looks like pumpkins, it smells like pumpkins, it smells like perfection. And for a little bit of a garnish, we're gonna go in with a dried orange slice, just there. And now though, first, we're gonna have to make our next cocktail. Another one? Another one. Next up, it's our pumpkin sour. This is a shaken drink, so we're gonna get our shaker tin, and we're gonna get a nice rock of ice, and we're gonna pop it into there, and then we're gonna go in with our ingredients. We're not gonna stray too far from the classic kind of whiskey sour formula, which is two parts spirit, one part sugar, one part citrus. So we're gonna go in, just like we did before, with two ounces of our Rowan Co whiskey, and we're gonna go in with one ounce each of lemon juice and of our pumpkin spice syrup. I was hoping the pumpkin spice syrup would make another appearance. Well, there are three pumpkin cocktails. That there was one ounce of lemon juice, and this is gonna be one ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. It is taking all of my control not to just drink it straight from that bottle. Because this is nice maple syrup. It just came through really well. <gasps> we could put it on pancakes. We could put it on pancakes. But first, we're gonna put it in cocktails. <laughs> cocktails with pancakes. Yeah, so we're gonna pop the lid on our shaker tin, but first, actually, because we wanna get a little bit of foam, we're gonna use some of this fee foam. It's just a nice way of getting foam in without using an egg white, without having to use like aquafaba. There's a couple of brands who use this, and it's just a, a foaming agent. You put in two dashes or three dashes into a cocktail, you shake it up and you get a really nice head on your cocktail. Oh yeah. So we're gonna put the lid on, shake it away for about 20 seconds until we get it nice and cold. Okay, that should be nicely chilled, so we're gonna get ready to strain this one out into a nice coupe glass. So if I, a lovely assistant, has my coupe glass ready, 
I'm going to strain it out nice and simple into the coupe glass and we should have a really nice head but look at the color on that. It's beautiful. Yeah. So this is going to settle over the next minute or two and we're going to get a really nice head but for a garnish I'm going to put a little pinch of pumpkin spice on top. Also from the US. Also from the US and that's going to give Kirkland us a nice, brand. A nice bit of flavour into the cocktail, a bit of aroma on that but final cocktail. And the last cocktail is going to be the simplest one. It's just a pumpkin fizz. This is going to be very nice, very easy. If you're having a drink at home, if you have a few friends over, you can easily whip these up. It's just going to be about two ounces, again, of whiskey into there. And then we're going to go in with half an ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. And then we're going to top it up with some ginger ale. So that's going to give us a nice bit of flavor and a nice bit of fizz in a cocktail. Mm, I think this will be a good cocktail to have after watching a spooky movie. After watching a spooky movie. So you don't have to interrupt to make a whole cocktail. Yeah. Before we add the uh, ginger ale, we're just going to give it a stir. Just to make sure that syrup is properly mixed in. And then... It looks so tasty. We're going to top it up with some ginger beer. This is a Fentiman's ginger beer. It's a nice spicy ginger beer. Mm. So it should give a good bit of flavor into the cocktail. Exactly what you need for this season. Yeah, and that hasn't fully mixed, so we're just gonna give it just one little. But it does look cool. It does look cool. You can give it to someone a little bit unmixed so you can yeah. see the gradient and then mix it up as you go. And for a garnish on this, a little bit of dried grapefruit just to give a little bit more aroma. And that right there are three pumpkin cocktails. Now real quick before we taste these cocktails, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. We put out cocktail recipes on Fridays, we put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays, we put out kind of fun videos on Mondays. If you want to see more like this, make sure you hit subscribe. Now, which one do you want to start with? Oh gosh, um, we'll go my left to right. Okay. So I have a straw. Okay, then go get that. All right. So this is pumpkin fizz, pumpkin whiskey, which has uh, nice spicy notes to it. You've got the pumpkin spice syrup, which has maple syrup. It's got a nice bit of ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and then a really nice spicy ginger beer. This makes me want to say words that I cannot say, but it is yeah. absolutely delicious. Yeah. You could make mm. like a giant jug or something of this and yeah. everyone mm. would love it. It's got this, this is a winner. A really good hit, like really- I'm sorry, hit. this is a clear winner. Okay, we haven't tried the others yet, <laughs> but I have, because uh, when I was making the recipes. This is, it's very good. It's got this really nice rich hit of maple syrup, but then you get the spiciness coming through and then the spiciness that ginger beer comes through at the very end. Very good cocktail. This one is very good. But I'm gonna go in for the well, no, 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 try it. Okay. You tried all these first. I should be able to try them now. Ha. Ha. Oh. Is it another winner? Oh yeah. It's like, if you like the, oh my God. Yeah. Even if you like, I can't even get words out. It's a sour. Yeah. I'm not usually a sour person. Some sours I like. This I really, really like. Yeah, the nutmeg on top, the, the pumpkin spice on top. The spiciness comes through. It's a, a whiskey sour is my personal favorite cocktail. And as you can see, that FIFO gave us a really good head. That is staying a long time, but it's just a very good cocktail. And the spiciness comes through. You don't get a huge amount of pumpkin. Like you get more pumpkin yeah. on this because the lemon does cut across. It's more like- It's a sour. Yeah, it's more of the pumpkin spice as opposed to the pumpkin flavor. Yeah. Now, the old fashioned. Oh gosh. I hope this lives up to the other two. Yeah, so do I. Mm. Oh my God. Can I, can I, can I, there we go. I'm gonna haunt you if you drink all of it. Mm. I feel like yeah. I'm gonna cut across here She's right gonna now. gonna cut across me, okay. These cocktails are life changing. Yeah. I thought I had had tasty cocktails before this, and you've made nice cocktails. You've made good tasty cocktails. Yeah. But this is just very good. Next like, level. The style of the show really is. Jessica's uh, maple syrup pumpkin spice recipe, very nice. It's good in coffees, it's good on pancakes, it's good in cocktails, very good. You should give it a try, it's very easy to make. Yeah. Really good, stays good in the fridge for about a week, two weeks, but yeah. it won't last that long. It's literally, can 
canned pumpkins, Libby's canned pumpkin. So yeah. any of the Americans get it. If you're in Ireland, you can get yeah. it at Lots and Co. and Fallon and Burn. I made a short when I was, when I was making this ah. uh, pumpkin spice syrup, so it's probably up there. I'll put a link to that as well down below if you want the quick version of making it, but as I said, Jessica's version, very good. Mm -hmm. Also, the remains of it, put that on toast. Oh yeah. And that is also the, incredibly life-changing. The leftover ground pumpkin, yeah, very Oh, tasty. I have it in the fridge. Yeah, but I'm gonna... Ah! So, of the three, which is your favorite? If you had to just have one at, let's say you were at a party. At a party, this. Okay. This if is you my were, party drink. If you were at home, end of the day, which one? Uh, this one. The old fashioned. The old fashioned's very good. And then all round, any winner? Would you prefer no, the sour no, or? No, 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 don't go to all round. This one, the sour is like when I'm trying to feel a little pumpkin y, but a little fancy at the same time. This is time. definitely the fanciest of the cocktails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I drink them all very easily. But if you had to like parse them out for different occasions, yeah. that's how I would parse them out. Yeah. Not I bad. can't choose an overall winner. It's well, just impossible. If you've got your favorite Halloween cocktail or a favorite pumpkin cocktail, let us know down in the comments below. But I think for us, these three are definitely going to be on the menu this Halloween. I'm drinking them all. She's going to drink them all. I might have to make myself some more. And me some more. And her some more. Um, as I said, we do, put out, we do put out cocktail recipes on Fridays. We put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. And yeah. if you want to see more, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Spook, 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 like spook, and not okay. uh, spook, spook. Okay. No drinking it yet. Let's make the recordings. I'm wildly surprised by how good all of these are. I told you, they're really good. They are seriously good. Like, I was like, maybe one of them will be really tasty, and then the other ones are like, you know, they're good. But my god. Yeah. Matthew? Good cocktails? Good cocktails. Yeah. Good job. <laughs>